that you mentioned that because I just uh, realized the other day that Jensen Ackles was actually on that show. What? Yeah. Really? He was uh, Alec and then came back as like the darker twin. Or was Alec the darker twin? I have no idea. I, just, I didn't follow the show. I just watched yeah. it occasionally because my buddy was into it. But yeah, Jensen Ackles was on there. It's like, oh, it's Dean Winchester. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, I apologize because I feel like I'm missing something here and I can't remember what to do. So you guys keep talking about Jessica Alba, and I'll try to figure this out. Right. Did you like Sin City? I did. Have you seen the sequel? <laughs> Not yet. The sequel's good. <laughs> I like the I sequel. I wanted to see it. Joseph, see Gor- it. Joseph Gordon-Levitt's in the sequel. Really? Yeah, he plays, uh, what's his name's character? Dwight. Dwight, but who was the character, uh, the uh, actor? Clive Owen. Clive Owen's character. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, because in, in uh, Sin City, I'm sorry, I probably just went quiet there for a second. I found a fuzz. I thought it was a spider, and it was on my crotch, oh. and so I lost my mind <laughs> for a second. I for it was Brief just moment. Of yeah, panic. it was just a little fuzz. Uh-huh. But dear Lord, did I get so scared for a moment? <laughs> um, so uh, okay, sorry. Um, so oh, in one uh. in one scene in Sin City, Clive Owen mentions that he had a face change, and that's why nobody recognizes him. Oh. And Joseph Gordon-Levitt plays Wait, him I'm before the, the face change. Which is pretty cool. I thought that was yeah. interesting. I, 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 it was pretty cool. Yeah, it's uh, uh, the character. They talk about that in the first movie. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, they talk about his face change in the first in the first movie, but then they show him before the face change in the second. Oh, okay. Movie. I'm sorry. I'm I'm just trying to figure out where the heck to go. Right. Second movie's believe. a prequel. Second movie's a prequel. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it's got uh, what's his name in it. Uh, a lot of characters Mickey, who are dead. Mickey Rourke's character. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Is in it. Um, it's funny because Sin City is actually the only movie that I like Elijah Wood's character in. Kevin. He plays like a crazy, yeah. Are we about to get into a Lord of the Rings conversation? Uh, don't even get me started. I feel so sick of hearing this. Okay, all right. There let's talk about enough, Alien. There are let's talk about enough, Alien then. I didn't <laughs> like it either. There are not enough gigs on my computer <laughs> to have this argument. No, I love the Lord of the Rings movies. I hate Frodo. I think they would have been much better if he died at the end because he whined incessantly the entire time. And we just lost all our subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to leave this I one like alone. I like Sam. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I like Sam better than Frodo. I can't yeah. say I dislike Frodo, though. Frodo's, out of the four hobbits, Frodo's the one I like the least, but I like him still. I don't like him at all. Like, I, Shut up. I, I like <laughs> Sorry, I'm kidding. He carries I, the burden of the entire Sam Middle went through Earth. everything he did. No, he and did Sam not. not. He did Have not. you read the books? Absolutely, no, he did not. You need to read the books. finally made me watch the movies. You, okay, you need to read the books because it explains the burden. Because the, that that ring is constantly weighing on him, yeah. not because Whispering of the weight. To him. But in The Hobbit, Bilbo had the ring and he wasn't whiny. Yet. Yet he wasn't yeah. whiny. He didn't at hold the it near as Lord long as Frodo did. You also have to remember that the ring he got is a, a little crazy at the beginning of the Lord. The Lord ring is a living thing. The ring knew what its purpose was, and it knew what the purpose was of the fellowship. So it tried everything <laughs> that it could to stop Frodo. I just realized Solly Hill is the there. argument basis. Yeah. This is the <laughs> argument. Let's play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You out there in YouTube can't see me, but I'm rolling my eyes so hard right now. Okay, all right. Well, let's <laughs> let's talk about alien movies then. <laughs> I did. I only watched the first one because he made me, and I didn't like it. Why didn't you like it? It, just, it, it was corny to me. What? I just didn't like it. What is corny what? about? I hit a new <laughs> octave. Maybe corny's not the right word. It's just not something I could get into. Okay, here we go. Finally, I, I found my way out. I, which I've never been big on aliens or anything. You're I you're not that. at all. I know, and that's yeah. why I brought it up. <laughs> and I know that's weird because I or love James Star Bond Wars, either, right? But to me, huh? you you don't like James Bond either, right? No. But like, I love Star Wars, but that's because to me, Star Wars is not an alien movie. It's an epic journey. So, but something like an aliens, aliens not. No. Aliens not an epic movie. It's a it's a horror movie. It's so I get. I, that. F- I feel it's like it's an epic because it's such a slow build and it's beautiful. But see, slow builds don't work for me. I lose interest very quickly. Oh, you're you're a sad victim of the microwave society. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me so it's sad. It's not that. Uh, it's, and how do you how do you how do you bear through Game of Thrones then? 
Yeah, really. Because I hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Way, fair yeah. enough. I can explain that. Don't we okay. all? <laughs> By the way, I just saw seasons five for the first time this week. Oh, fun. <sighs> and no spoilers. I won't give any spoilers. Yeah. But like a lot of it, I saw coming. But still, at the same time, there's there is a few scenes that I was just like, oh man. But Game of Thrones is one of those. It's a slow build. It, there's very. It's all political. It's yeah. so I political. Feel like Game of Thrones was a slow build. Like, I felt like they drew you in right from the beginning with the first well, scene. Like no, no, <laughs> no, no. Okay, so no, the first time I watched the no, episode, I was half paying attention. No, I didn't care. The first for it. time that we <laughs> tried to sit down and watch, I said these look really good. You said okay. And then you said, I don't like them because it's slow. The first episode is slow. I don't want to watch it because it's slow. <laughs> You're never going to watch but Twin then Peaks then, are you? when I sat down and watched it, like, I got really into, like, the intro of it with the White Walkers and stuff. Oh, so, man. Like, and that's what kept me watching it because I wanted to see the White Walkers again. I got nine episodes through the first season. And she was like, I want to watch it. I was like, all right, I'll start over. Yes. <laughs> It was Jason Momoa, I swear. Yeah, that's all it was. And then bullets. Jason Momoa. Cal Drogo. Oh, yeah, yeah. He is a very, very pretty band. Well, I mean, that's the thing. I, they were completely ingenious with making that show because they're like, okay, here's the man that all the women are going to like, and then here's the woman all the men are going to like, and we're going to put them together. You know, I was like, all right, <laughs> I get it. And then, <laughs> then like, well, I no the spoilers, so I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut up, because that that's the one show that I think people would shoot me over. It's a pretty big. Uh, yeah, you can't spoil Game of Thrones. Yeah. It's right. Okay. Okay. Here's a pretty big. Uh, okay. Sorry. To get us back on to the man later identified as Thomas Orozco, lumberjack, age 39, was discovered in the something something. It's the body of a man later identified as Thomas Orozco, lumberjack, age 39, was discovered laying face down. The probable cause of death as multiple stab wounds to the front of the neck and the left side of the torso by a sharp-edged weapon. The estimated time of death was somewhere between 11, th- 11 p.m. and 12.30 p.m. midnight. Due to signs of struggle in the room and the lack of a murder weapon, police are considering this a homicide and have opened a murder investigation. Furthermore, given the fact that the cash in the room was untouched and Mr. Orozco had a history of drunkenness and violence, the police suspect that the motive was not a robbery, uh, but a crime of passion. So wait, did that all? Did that say twelve thirty p.m. Mm-hmm. midnight? Because twelve thirty p.m. Mi- midnight is a typo. That's wrong. Yeah. Does it? Does it really say p.m. midnight? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, okay. It just says twelve thirty. So Thomas Orozco, do you remember that name? Uh, d- yeah. That's the he was in the news article earlier on. He's yep. no, no, no. He's in the. My brain. They talk about <laughs> him. They talk about him. Angela's last name is Orozco. Oh, I almost swore. Hmm. Sorry. Um, but <laughs> And you have to think about this, too. Angela Orozco, that's her last name. Thomas Orozco is his name. Stabbed in the neck. Right. And there's something stained red on this. Well, place. as you huh. kindly pointed out later or earlier, the town is alive and makes you see what you want to see. So how do we know this is even a real thing? You'll see. Do you find a Roscoe? Daddy, please don't. Wow. Yeah. Oh, did we find what's her face? Angela. 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 <laughs> Angela. <laughs> what's what's uh Martin? Angela Martin? Yep. So is that So this is a... Oh, man, this thing shoots slow. This guy is strong, too. Like, he yeah. is tough. Um, we faced one of these earlier. No, we fought what are called flesh lips. This is a whole other thing. Oh. Um, it looks very similar. It looks very similar, but if you look at... I know it's kind of hard to see here. Oh, crap. Um... The name of this creature is Abstract Daddy. So it's it's it is what Orozco. 
Yeah. Essentially. Um, I turned off my flashlight. I didn't mean to. But if is you it like look, melded to a bed? It's a bed it? with two people on it. One on top of the other. And a giant uh, uh, wing dang doodle? Yeah, pretty much. I am almost dead. Yeah, that's... that's Dang doodle. Uh. <laughs> that's dang, the, uh, I dangly do. That's the proper <laughs> medical term for it. Yeah. Um, but I, there's a lot of implications in this room, as you can tell. Um, uh. The room has like a. What? What? Am I just gonna sit here? Okay. Get off! Don't press the map. Quit it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, you know what? I don't want to do this, but I need to do this. So. Uh, so yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of implications going on here. This room is like flesh colored, right? Um, Pistons. There's these weird metallic objects coming out of holes and going back into holes, which um, could I'll represent a lot of things. Crap. Yeah, I'll let you. That one you can uh, you know think about it. You yourself. can interpret yourself. I'm yeah. not gonna mess with that one, right? Uh, because mm -hmm. it's pretty on the nose. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't think I need to explain that one at all. Tillywhacker. Um, there we go. <laughs> What? He did. One-eyed monster. Did you see that? Pretty much. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> so what does the television represent, Phil? Her having enough of his crap. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Relax. Don't order me around. I'm okay, not I just kill you. you. <laughs> so what do you want then? Oh, I see. You're trying to be nice to me, right? I know what you're up to. It's always the same. You're only after one thing. No, that's not true at all. You don't have to lie. Go ahead and say it. Or you could just force me. Beat me up like he always did. Uh, you only care about yourself anyway. You disgusting pig. Angela. Don't touch me. You make me sick. You said your wife Mary was dead, right? Yes, she was ill. Liar! I know about you. You didn't want her around anymore. You probably found someone else. <sighs> That's ridiculous. I never. He doesn't defend himself until Angela leaves the room. Right. I think it's kind of a. It, <clears throat> so, so film. Mm hmm. Yes. I think she's a projection from James's memory. Okay. I think she is Mary. Okay. A story Mary told James when he sh about when she was young. I I totally think these are people from projections from 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 what it's is face. <laughs> 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 I, I just to me like because she she knows she doesn't know intimate details but she says these things as if she knows them <laughs> right and I I, I I I totally think all this is just stuff that that comes from his and Mary's relationship every bit of it in some way or another okay let me ask you a question no um, not allowed <laughs> This is a fun room. Oh my uh, lord! Yeah. <laughs> did you ever see that movie, The Orphanage? Yes, I did. Oh I love my that movie! It's terrifying. 
Okay. This man was hung for the crime of kidnapping. Justice and revenge have been served. This man was hung for the crime of arson. Get closer. Counterfeiting. Murder. Muck duck. Yeah. <laughs> Murder hurdled. <laughs> Murdidly hurdled. Uh, thievery. And swindling. Swashbuckling. <laughs> <laughs> he was a buccaneer. <laughs> What's your question? Uh, my question is, we found a article, an article about Angela's father. Right. Just kind of randomly laying on the ground. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry, the frame rate issues, uh, the, the frame rate just dropped for sure. Yeah, I see that. Um, do you think it's possible that there are newspaper articles about James somewhere in the town? I guess. I guess it's possible. I mean, we're finding stuff about her. Why not him? Dead men, dead men, swinging in a tree. How many dead men do you see? Tongue turned blue and face gone gray. Watch them as they twist and sway. The first one killed the butcher man, then cooked him in the frying pan. Gross. Served him to his hungry guest and gave him seconds on request. The next one, with his smile and sweets, stole poor children off the streets. To men who dressed unsavory, he sold them into slavery. Breaking into home at night, the thief he had a nasty fright. Filled his foolish head with ale, woke in the morn in the county jail. The artist, with his daunting skill, tried his hand at painting bills, but caught in rain, he was undone. When the ink he did he used did start to run. Blah, blah, blah. With promises of great return, taking gold he did not earn, bundled it up and out of sight, oh. quietly slipped off into the night. I just realized what this is. Yeah. Three houses into ashes burned, the sheriff with no place to turn, did spy a stranger to his town, locked him up, and beat him down. Dead men, dead men, swinging in a tree, how many dead men do you see? Six feet long and six men wide, round their necks, the noose be tied. What is it? That that's is that the explanation for the puzzle? Yep. That's gonna happen with those those six guys. Only the sinless one can help you here. Mistakenly pull on a criminal's rope, and your reward will be returned to you in a shape most wondrously strange. So you guys remember where everything was? What do you mean? All those all those guys? Yeah. Oh no, I don't. Um, <laughs> but uh, which one are? Do you know which one we're looking for? Do you mm-hmm, know the sinless one? Mm-hmm. Who's the sinless one? The sinless one is the one who was thrown into prison for arson. Okay, it's the it's the one you're looking at. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I remember the arson um, one. I didn't remember all uh, of them. I love this. I love how instead of just it being like a ter- like a pull down. Right, you know, like it's just like, oh, I can pull this down, it'll be all right. Like they made sure that the camera angle showed that he was pulling it down almost around his own neck. Right, like you think he's gonna put it on for a second. Yeah. Now, what happens if you pull the wrong one? Uh, you get a monster. Um, I think you get a lying figure. Oh. So I got the eh. key of the persecuted. The paper that was covering the corpse's face is lying here. All right. So I want to go ahead and do that and get it out of the way because. If not, we could be here for a long time trying to figure it out. Yeah, because that is a lot like the piano puzzle in the first one. The piano puzzle is the piano puzzle. In, in freaking possible. Yeah, it's tough. Uh, you can't turn the handle unless you move that. Okay. Thank you, James. Or whoever's uh, narrating this. Stephen King. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what does he say? He's like, no, he's Rip. writing a biography about Benjamin Franklin. How he used his kite to torture Green Mountain men. <laughs> uh, and that key that he used would open the gate to hell. <laughs> I think Rip Taylor should <laughs> should narrate this game. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Yeah. Going to <laughs> you can't open it until you unlock those, uh, you know, handcuffs. <laughs> Oh, it's awful. Yeah. It's so dark and scary here. I can't do a good Rip Taylor. I don't think I can either. Maria? Is that thunder? No. Maria? 
Oh. Maria, no. What happened to you? Why? Why? shot in the face yeah it looks a bit gangrenous um so i if you guys heard us while that was going on <laughs> it was because it when it showed james sitting next to her i totally thought he was holding binoculars staring at her from like a f like less than a foot away i have to get a closer look like, yeah and i i just went I it looks like he has binoculars <laughs> i must observe yeah 